Hey everybody, I am Jamie Scott Ataya of JSA, and this is your monthly news headlines in three minutes tops. Gonna try for it at least. All right, let's get started. Telehouse America, a leading provider of carrier neutral data centers, of course, just announced that its tier three teleport data center in Staten Island is now available for co-location. Very exciting stuff. Uh, been to that Staten Island location, it's fantastic. 162,000 square foot, thoroughly compliant, purpose-built facility, and for a limited time, the company is now offering the first and last months of Colo at no cost to new clients. Great offer. All right, heading down from Staten Island to Virginia, Bedline Communications and Morecom International, working together to provide high-quality broadband internet access for teachers and students in Arlington County. And that's with the installation of Redline's 3GPP ILTE network. Vivacity LLC, a trusted provider of carrying mutual communications, infrastructure, and services, announces the acquisition of Terra Consulting Group LLC. The acquisition allows three operating arms, Vivacity Networks, EX Square Technology LLC, and now Terra Consulting Group LLC to transform fiber and wireless infrastructure services into one comprehensive broadband communication solution. Isn't that Means new regional markets, guys, St. Paul, Minnesota, Columbia, Missouri, Columbus, Ohio, and Nashville, Tennessee. And Lightpath, new management team, vision, and brand going big in all fiber infrastructure-based connectivity provider. Lightpath revolutionizing how organizations connect to their dis digital destinations. The company just launched its new vision and brand and an enhanced customer service focus. All this as the company also plans to spend millions of dollars on a major upgrade in its next-gen optical and packet networks. We're talking up to 800 gigs uh, for resiliency, reliability, and security. This as Lightpath becomes, get ready, the first all-fiber enterprise-grade connectivity provider to enter the Boston market since the industry consolidation began over 10 years ago. Really great stuff for Boston, particularly. The company made three fiber network acquisitions there, totaling over 80 route miles of in-place high count network, currently serving over 100 locations, including 12 area data centers, Boston, Cambridge, Somerville, Waltham, Burlington, Valerica, Bedford, and Lowell. Not good schools in that area, very good stuff. All right, and moving down um, the East Coast and nationally, our friends over at Highland are launching Highland Academy a comprehensive utility construction training and employee development program. This new nationwide program was created to recruit, train, and support new and existing construction employees. So exciting news there. All right, over to China. In an effort to meet post-pandemic colo demands, Big Data Exchange, or BDX, has successfully navigated the construction of its NKG data center campus, Nanjing, China and during COVID-19. The launch of NKG-1, the first phase of its 35 megawatt project, brings to market the latest in the company's efforts to service this asia Pac market and to facilitate growth opportunities for enterprise clients expanding in this region. Talking Latin now, Gold Connect announces it is the very first wholesale connectivity provider in Latin to now accept cryptocurrency payments. And that's with BitPay, the world's largest provider of Bitcoin in cryptocurrency payment services. Very cool, Gold Connect there, aiming to attract new customers and address the increasing demand for crypto payments. Atos, a global leader in digital transformation, recently unveiled its Atos One Cloud Hub. This is a unique microsite providing enterprise IT leaders with critical cloud insights. And of course, this comes on the heels of Atos launching uh, one, Atos One Cloud which provides cloud advisory consulting, application transformation expertise, pre-built cloud accelerators, and innovative talents, end-to-end -end set of services to really help organizations navigate their cloud journey. So very cool there. And congratulations, guys, to Anova Financial Networks. The company just won Best Low Latency Data Feed direct for its Zero Gap offering this from the prestigious Trading Tech Insight Awards. NetSapiens, that B2B provider of unified communications collaboration and contact center solutions for service providers, are announcing its collaboration with PCCW Global. This collaboration, utilizing Console Connect, 
empowers NetSafe and service provider ecosystem with enhanced network performance, security, and control globally. Customers of the American Tower Metro Data Center are now having yet another avenue for cloud connectivity. American Tower recently began offering Flex Central's Flex Anywhere solution at its facility at 55 Marietta Street, downtown Atlanta. In addition to connecting cloud service providers like AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Flex Anywhere lets customers easily and quickly connect to more than 250 networks, data centers, and managed services. And news now from the Palmetto State Dark Points, bringing its unique internet connectivity ecosystem model to South Carolina. They're helping to bridge the digital divide for local businesses and residents. Really, really necessary stuff, guys. This is big news. The Edge Data Center operator closing a deal to acquire a Medion, a Greenville-based provider of colo, cloud, and managed services. The deal more than doubles Dark Points data center footprint adding locations in Greenville, Charleston, Columbia, and Spartanburg. Really great stuff. I actually got a chance to sit down with the C-suite of Dark Points in an exclusive interview on JSA TV. So go ahead and check that out. Here directly from the leaders behind this expansion. And that I would consider my CTV on JSA.net. That's a wrap, guys. Thanks so much for your time. Our monthly news headlines in three minutes tops. I'm James Scott of JSA. As always, happy networking. <laughs>